Lesson 36, Clashing Knights. We've been doing distance problems for quite a few lessons, and they've all been pretty simple with just one moving vehicle, one car or one truck or something like that. But here's a more complicated distance problem that has two vehicles instead of one. That is, if you want to call these vehicles. Two knights, Lancelot and Gawain, are about to engage in a jousting match. They're starting 1,000 feet apart, on horses naturally. Lancelot can ride at a speed that is 4 feet per second faster than Gawain. If they start at the same time and clash exactly 10 seconds later, how fast must each knight travel? This is a pretty tough problem. First of all, it has two unknowns. We're supposed to find the speed of both knights. And let's just make x be Lancelot's speed. And then that means we need another expression to stand for Gawain's speed. Remember, Lancelot's supposed to be 4 feet per second faster than Gawain. So see if you can write an expression for Gawain's speed. Make sure x is in the expression. Go ahead. Awesome. It has to be x minus 4 because Gawain's not as fast as Lancelot. Now let's come up with a word equation. Since this is a tough problem, I think it'll help if we draw a picture. When they start out, the knights are 1,000 feet apart, according to the problem. So here's Lancelot, and here's Gawain, and then this distance is 1,000 feet. Then they're going to run together like this. And they may not meet exactly in the middle. Where they meet will actually depend on which one goes faster. But we know that when they do meet, the distance that Lancelot travels plus the distance that Gawain travels has to equal 1,000 feet. And that's because they start out 1,000 feet apart. So if you think about these facts, it makes sense that the equation should look like this. Lancelot's distance plus Gawain's distance equals 1,000. Now let's put in the x's and numbers by writing expressions for these two distances. Remember, distance equals speed multiplied by time. So Lancelot's distance is going to be his speed multiplied by the time he rides. And the problem says that they're both going to ride for 10 seconds. So Lancelot's time is 10. His speed is one of the things we're trying to find. And we made Lancelot's speed equal x. So why don't you write an expression for Lancelot's distance? It's going to be speed multiplied by time. Go ahead. Perfect. We can do the same thing for Gawain's distance. That's going to be his speed, which is the quantity x minus 4 multiplied by the time. And that's going to be 10 again. So write an expression for Gawain's speed. And don't forget parentheses. Fantastic. It's important for the x minus 4 to be inside parentheses because we need to multiply this entire quantity by 10. Now we have our equation, and all we have to do is solve. There's an x trapped inside parentheses here. We need to get it out by distributing the 10. What's 10 times x? Yes. And then what's 10 times 4? Exactly. Since the x and 4 inside parentheses were subtracted, I've got the 10x and the 40 subtracted. Now we can combine the x terms. Go ahead and combine 10x plus 10x. You got it. We just have one x term showing now, so we're ready to undo in reverse order. First we need to undo the subtraction of 40. Why don't you do it? Just put in what needs to be done to both sides. Good. What do the left and right sides equal now? Exactly. The next step is to undo the multiplication by dividing both sides by 20. And what does the left side equal now? Yes. And the last thing to do is we need to divide 1040 by 20. Why don't you go ahead and punch that in your calculator? Bingo. So we end up with an answer of 52. And since x stands for Lancelot speed, that means that Lancelot was going at a speed of 52 feet per second. What about Gawain's speed? Well, remember his speed is x minus 4. 
So using that, why don't you figure out Gawain's speed? You got it. So Gawain's speed must be 48 feet per second. Now if we wanted, we could convert both of these speeds into miles per hour. I won't bother showing the steps, but Lancelot's speed turns out to be 35.45 miles per hour, and Gawain's speed is 32.73 miles per hour. So that's pretty fast. That was our first example of a more complicated distance problem. Let's do one more, and this is actually just a variation of the first problem. Here it is. Assume the knights start out next to each other and then ride in opposite directions. If after 18 seconds they're 1,512 feet apart, how fast are the knights traveling? Assume again that Lancelot is going 4 feet per second faster than Gawain. Let's make x represent Lancelot's speed and x minus 4 Gawain's speed again. Now let's take a look at a picture of what's happening. The knights start out together but then they ride in opposite directions and they end up 1,512 feet apart. Now think about this. The knights won't have traveled the same distance because Lancelot's going faster. Lancelot has to travel a little farther. But we know that Lancelot's distance plus Gawain's distance has to equal 1,512 feet because that's how far apart they end up. So the equation should be Lancelot's distance plus Gawain's distance equals 1,512. And now let's fill in the expressions. Lancelot's distance is going to be his speed, which is x, multiplied by his time. And then the problem said that was 18 seconds. So why don't you write an expression for Lancelot's distance? Great. Gawain's distance is his speed, which is x minus 4, the quantity x minus 4, multiplied by his time. And he's also going to go for 18 seconds. So, using those facts, write an expression for Gawain's distance. Exactly right. And it's important for x minus 4 to be inside parentheses because it's that entire quantity that needs to be multiplied by 18. This equation can be solved in basically the same way we solved the first one. We need to distribute to free this second x from parentheses, and then we can combine the x terms. I'm not going to go through the steps individually. I'll just show all the steps to you on the notepad. See, here's what happens after distributing the 18. And then when you combine the terms, you end up with 36x. And then you undo in reverse. You undo the subtraction by adding 72 to both sides. And then you undo the multiplication by dividing both sides by 36. And you end up with x equals 44. That means that Lancelot's speed had to be 44 feet per second. And then Gawain's speed is x minus 4, remember? So what's Gawain's speed? Go ahead and calculate that. Good. So Gawain's speed must be 40 feet per second. Guinevere will be really impressed with these guys.